Saturday morning cartoons. Nick took I, a big old bite right as we're getting to start. I you did. I was ex- really, I was really curious to try my cereal this morning. So, uh, and you don't try it right until the show starts. I so wait. Like, I want it to be fresh. Yeah. Oh really? Oh mm-hmm. man, I don't. I just I chomp on it. You, really? You dive no. in? Well, I was so excited about these. Somebody sent me these. Uh, where is it? These churros. I think you might have had them yes. once before. They're excellent. Yeah. That might be my favorite sugary cereal I've had so far. It's oh, here it is. Toast Crunch churros. Yeah. Well, maybe they sent it to you. I don't know. It arrived in the mail the other day, and uh, they're pre- they're really good. I mean, yeah, it's they, candy. It's basically right. candy. They don't get soggy either. Um, by the way, I'm Nick. That's Joe from uh, VCR Party. We have uh, George down there, and Caitlin McGurk from the Billy Ireland Cartoon Library Museum is here. Hi, Caitlin. Hi. Thanks for having me. And is your dog with us today? Usually, yeah, he's uh, down here. I'm fighting him off because he really wants to get my delicious cereal that I have. Well, what are you eating today? I'm eating. I found some golden grams, but nice. they're the retro recipe, which I thought Whoa. that so seems appropriate for you know Saturday morning cartoons. And... Does that mean that they use actual sugar? That it's not corn syrup? Is it's that a, what the retro is? It's it lead. Honey is back, baby. Oh, oh yes. Covered in plastic, too. The but boys whatever, are back in town. Whatever it is, Rambo is like really into it and I'm having to fight him for it. So. <laughs> well, oh, uh, I, I had my parents. Uh, so it turns out there's a bunch of like Walmart exclusive cereals that I just can't, you know, there aren't any Walmarts in, in the New York City area. So my folks took a stroll and sent me two cereals. One is Oatmeal cream pie oh. cereal by <laughs> Little Debbie. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and, oh. and I get they're not vegan, so I haven't eaten them. But look at how they they. I mean, is the shape weird to you? Does that? I mean, is it? What, is they, it they put the actual oatmeal cream pies right next to it to show you that it looks nothing like nothing it. Nothing like it. Pie. Yeah. I don't know. If, maybe it's just because there's that viral thing of a of a, a donut saying you're a whole. I love you a whole lot thing for Valentine's Day. But these kind of look like buttholes to me. So. Yeah. Um, see the butthole there. That's yeah. a yeah. better name for a cereal, though. But they, also, <laughs> yeah. They also yeah. sent me this one, which I can't eat. It's Dunkaroos. Mm. These are both family size. We remember the uh, Dunkaroos frosting, and uh, oh yeah, that's what I ate. And they're kind of, uh, they kind of have the the funfetti, uh, whatever it is, sprinkles on them, and it's it's candy, <clears throat> but it's pretty Nick, good. Nick, can you next for next week? Can you take a picture of your collection of cereals up on top of your? refrigerator yeah, I, i'm I, dying to see what it looks like i'll be or, honest i've thrown most of them away by now <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i still have quite a quite a collection here so sure i'll take a picture post it by the way i want to mention before we get to george's disappointing cereal that most i, I a lot of people uh, in the comments for this show have started calling themselves welkers they say hello welkers <laughs> like how we say hello melinda's on vcr party and I believe uh, we say hello, Rhonda's on uh, Willie's Garage. Hello, Why Welkers? Because of Wes Welker in that one no, commercial? Frank because Welker. Frank Welker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Frank Welker is the voice of every cartoon, as we've discovered. Ooh. Oh, I was thinking so, Wes Welker. Yeah, that's For fresh sure. in our mind from VCR Party. Yeah, exactly. Oh, but... um, I was thinking Shaddies, but I think Welkers are better. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. good. I like just calling everybody Welkers. And yeah. then maybe we, one day we can get them on the show. Yeah. Um, George, what, what do you have for us today? Well, this morning, I not only have Lucky Charms, but I have a serial story. In 2003, I moved to Los Angeles. I didn't have much money. I didn't have a job. So the local Ralphs had a sale on Lucky Charms. And... I bought box after box for several weeks. I thought vitamin 40 fortified, 250 a box. That's breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so uh, for th- after three weeks, I started to get really bizarre symptoms like um, blurred vision and uh, dizziness, headaches, and this constant metallic taste in my mouth. 
And I Googled those symptoms. And the first thing that came up was vitamin toxicity. Um, and th that the list of sim symptoms also included um, coma and death. So I stopped eating them, but um, it would have been great if they'd killed me because the headline would have read, tragically delicious. <laughs> <laughs> is that for real, George? This That's is a true story. Totally I didn't know you had moved to Los Angeles or almost died of Lucky Charms. It's fascinating. Yeah, it's so, now, can it death a... be a symptom? It seems like more of a side effect. <laughs> uh, doctor, point. I, well, have, I have a headache and death. So you overdosed on riboflavin, essentially, right? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was more the, th the thiamine, I think. Oh, okay. cause, cause of death, purple horseshoes. Um, <laughs> blue moons. <laughs> Uh, well, today's cartoon is uh, all about the lighter side of alcoholism, and uh, so I thought I would show, to, just to start off here, a little cartoon PSA about alcohol from a, a surprising source. Oh, I'm Lionel, Lord of the Thundercats, reminding you that kids are not allowed to drink anything with alcohol in it. And I'm here telling you this, don't kid around with drinking, it's against the law. Obey the code. Don't drink alcohol. This public service message is brought to you by TV50, the place for kids. So thanks, Lion Owen Snarf, for that important message about it not seems drinking. Like, it seems like they wouldn't have had alcohol in that world. It seems like they would have had, like, mead or <laughs> ale or something, doesn't it? Like, not alcohol. They don't have, like, wine coolers and stuff. Yeah, no. It's not like there's, you know, Blackberry brandy in the Thundercats <laughs> universe that you'd get yeah. from a parent's liquor cabinet. But, I like uh, the flexing, though. That made it more – that that was convincing to me. It was. I wasn't sure how I felt. but Well, that. George, you, you picked out uh, today's cartoon, so tell us all about it. Yes, today we're watching a very special episode of The Littles, one of my favorite cartoons from Saturday mornings. It ran for three seasons, over 29 episodes from 1983 to 1985. Yet another cartoon produced by Deke Enterprises for ABC. It follows the adventures of a uh, mouse-sized family, um, humanoid family, um, The Littles, which are siblings Tom and Lucy, their grandpa, their cousin Dinky, and they all live in the event of a room of a 13-year-old boy named Henry Big. And so in the first two seasons, they were trying to escape from an evil scientist who wanted to, who knows, dissect them or study them. Um, I, I don't by, blame that scientist at all. I yeah, no. When you they see got them, tails, especially. but yes. they wear human clothes. I mean, yes. yeah. They're fast. Are, they they have, more human, are they more human than they are, like, Smurfy, right? Oh, definitely. I thought you were going to say, are they more human than you? <laughs> that, no, they're, they have, they, like... They have this little world constructed out of bits of our world, so it's kind. Of, it, they're in the walls. It's they have their own culture, society. It's very cool to me. Um, and I then, loved anything with like little, like like Fraggle Rock, you know, like they where they lived in and they had their own society. And then there was a smaller group called the Dozers that lived within that. You know, like I just loved any like little hidden tiny world like that. Uh, Yes, the Miyazaki movie did it. You know, within the last ten years, it's it's. I don't know why that that was so uh, interesting. But the, my sister and I watched the Littles growing up. Yes, and by season three, they decide they like change the plot. So now Henry is taking uh, Lucy, Tom, Grandpa, and Dinky around the world um, in ethnographically dubious uh, situations, <laughs> and. Um, uh, this particular one involves going to Hollywood and, uh, and as you've mentioned, alcoholism. And among the many, many actors that starred in this series were character actor Alvy Moore as Grandpa Little, actress Bettina Bush as Lucy Little, and Jimmy E. Keegan as Henry. And uh, Who are those I, people? I don't know who they are. We're going to find out a little bit okay. more about them later in the episode. All right. Um, so are you guys ready to get small and get... <clears throat> drunk on sobriety yes and i love this theme song too i still get it in my head every once in a while yes. and i gotta say i've never even heard of this cartoon yeah, I, really? I feel like somehow i missed it you know like i'm the same age as you guys and just i don't know it's just me and my brothers we had our shows that we watched and the littles was not on the radar this Caitlin, might be a little heard precious it? for you no, i yeah. know that i rem weren't there books like yes. I, the books are familiar to me there's a board game and a movie oh. Yeah. Not familiar, but but I definitely haven't seen the cartoon, so I'm going into this cold. I'm excited. Same Can't here. Yep. <laughs> right, it's adapted from a 19 a, seri a series of I think 16 books that started in, in the late 60s. So thank you for mentioning that, Caitlin. Um, uh, George, can I ask you one more question? Yes. Well, you would watch 
Saturday morning cartoons, would you watch by yourself or you had a brother, right? Or you I had, had brother, an older right? brother, but he was seven years older. And so probably done with cartoons. Oh, he actually, okay. he'd stop in for Looney Tunes at any age. Even now, everyone can them. agree on. Yeah. Yeah. But, but but you you were flying solo on all these, so you called all the shots. You didn't have to negotiate for oh, the remote. Oh no, no, nobody was home. It was me, the TV. Were you latchkey? Oh, uh, yeah. Eventually. Nick is a latchkey. Yeah. Well, Saturday mornings you didn't need to get in after school. <laughs> I mean, you were already there. You woke up. You didn't. You, there was no key or, or latch. You just got out of bed and watched cartoons. <laughs> well, no, I had to get out of the shed that I was kept in. Oh, right. back into yeah. the house. And right. That explains it. Oh god. Let, All right. Let's no get Let's get a little drunk. It's kind of a bubblegummy 50s. Yes. Let's go. Clearly Japanese though, right? Animation animation wise. Looks it. I think Deke shopped a lot of it out. Yeah. Okay, now I see why we didn't watch this one. <laughs> but Nick, you remember a different opening credits, I think. Well, this was the song, though. It, well, it's, a, it's a variation. The first, yeah, but not, but not the world. You're right. World trotting. Yeah. Who came first? These guys or the Smurfs? Uh, these guys in book form. <laughs> no. So yet another Indiana Jones yeah, reference. Complete with the problematic natives. Yes. What if you actually could see their genitals flying back and forth underneath <laughs> there? Oh, I would give mad props to the little bit. Hey, it's starting off with a bang. I like it. Mm -hmm. So obviously Temple of Doom. Yep. Almost exactly. Yeah. Swing. That was impressive. <laughs> no momentum. Pearson nope. The up. physics were dead on with that. Camera like a kid with a comb Isn't over. This exciting, Grandpa? Yeah, I don't understand his hair. I've been thinking hero. about it a lot. That movie stuff's all fake, Dicky. I'll bet that guy didn't even get his hair must. Are you kidding? Must. Why, he's even braver than I am. <laughs> Dinky's the uh, comic relief character. Dinky. Looks like Dinky doesn't need an airplane to fly to Hollywood. You ever see him eat? The Littles? There's our yeah. prize winner. You see them drink. Oh, yeah. Henry Big, I'm Dave Mino. I'll be taking you to the studio to meet Kurt Corwin. Oh, boy. But first, I've got to get some publicity shots. Here, let me take your case. Uh, no, that's OK. No, wait. Let's go. <gasps> ah. Whoa! Hey, what's this? Ooh, suspenseful commercial break. Why, it's a photo of Kurt Corwin. I was hoping he'd autograph it. Why, sure he will. He's the greatest guy in the world. 
Hey, look at that hair. Yeah. yeah. It's like... It's got a Widow's it's Peak Plus. It's sort, sort, sort of Rudy Giuliani-esque. <laughs> you want a drink? Huh? You know, soda pop. Oh, thanks, Mr. Corwin. <laughs> Hey, kid, want a drink? I mean, it's a great entrance for How about a Tom Collins? <laughs> I can't believe Pete schnapps, it. kid. We're in the same room with Kurt Corwin. He's even more handsome in person. Another scotch. I get a drink whenever I want. It's in my contract. <laughs> that guy's a one-man liquor store. He, he's, he's Zap Brannigan. He's a hard-living hard hero, Grandpa, and I'd give anything to be just like him. Uh, Kurt, same here. We're ready to shoot. <laughs> Howie, you're the greatest director in the world. <laughs> But we've got problems. I just gotta oh, see Kurt up close. <laughs> this is so much like my the first time I visited the found footage the studios. Race cars too dangerous. Yep. Almost identical. I, won't do it. I said Nick gets me a scotch whenever I tell him I to. I wouldn't <laughs> want you to, Kurt. On the last picture, you drove so wild you nearly killed yourself. But we won't need a stuntman either. Come on, I'll show you. Come on, kid. No stuntman. This I want to see. Hold it. Where's Dinky? Here I am, Grandpa. Nick, do you uh, pause? I have a question. <clears throat> that would be a George pause. But... Or George, uh, yeah, yeah. Jo yeah, George. Why are they there? I missed that, the, the setup to like, why are they going to meet this movie star? Did he win a contest? Yes. Okay. Henry won a contest, the kid. Yeah. Okay. And parents don't go? <laughs> he traveled alone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, no, he had, he had four chaperones who were... An inch and a half high. Oh, that's right. Lived in okay. a lunchbox. Okay. Right. And again, this is pre um, TSA screening when you could you could take small humanoids across, you know, across the world without any problem. Now, yeah. not so much. Now you got to shove them in a shampoo bottle or something, right? It has to be less than three ounces. Yeah. <sighs> Don't ever do that again. I like this background art here. Great animation. Here it is. Mm -hmm. Pretty convincing, huh? Wow, these special effects guys can do anything. All this little beauty needs to work is this. That's What's supposed that? to be Spielberg, isn't Some it? Some kind of doll? Just watch. You know how, like, you buy the premise, you buy the bit? Like, I was... Movies really do have miniatures, but they don't have tiny robotic stunt doubles. Don't they? <laughs> this is a real behind the scenes look. They could imagine this, but not CGI. <laughs> oh, my. It's going on forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the rest of the episode, Matt. <laughs> Don't even think about it, Dickie. At what point would we shut it off? If it were? <laughs> like, would we just let it go? Yes. Real magic, Howie. Now, let's go make us a movie. And get me a drink. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> You're a big Kurt Carwin fan. Huge. Oh, Please where have the littles been all my life? <laughs> I wish he was doing like okay, a Palma Sun wine commercial like Orson Welles. <laughs> oh, the French. Going? What is the deal with stay deep? here where I can keep an eye on you. I mean, in terms of his uh, insouciance? I guess. I mean, his whole thing. So he's the cousin? Is that what it is? Yes. He's cousin clumsy. Dinky. He's clumsy. He's, he gets, he's prone to mischief, right? Yeah, he also flies uh, in other episodes. He flies a small plane that he built. But he always crashes it. He's he's a daredevil. So that's it, what the deal is with the goggles, then. Okay. He yeah. reminds me of like um, what's his, what's his name, the trash can man from the original <laughs> Stand series. Well, I, I don't want to spoil the end of the episode, but oh it, my, okay. it, it's it has a similar end. Look at this guy's hairline too, the bartender. Another one. I'm thirsty. He's always <laughs> every line he says is funny. It's like I'm writing these well. down. I gotta write these down. <laughs> uh, looks like today's your lucky day, Henry. A little later, we're shooting the picture's big scene a motorcycle jump over a river uh -oh. of molten lava. Did you hear that, Tom? <laughs> this is not a discussion. Just a nod. Lying <laughs> on the set. Is that a yes? Action. Doc Pearson, you will pay for invading the sacred temple of the Tiger Men. 
Grandpa can't mind if I get just a little closer to Kurt. Uh, what's my line? Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah? Double! Action! <laughs> I wish Phil Hartman was voicing uh, the movie star. I think he'd be good at that. Yeah. Corwin doesn't even do his own stunt. <laughs> oh, this guy's got a maid. Can you believe that? He's just resting up for the big stunt. Yeah. You're getting the right lesson from this joke. <laughs> Clumsy oafs. Oh, oh, here we go. Now I'll have to get another glass. <laughs> you clumsy oafs? You just have Peter Bogdanovich with the scarf. Drink. <laughs> I wonder what it tastes like. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful. It's too peaty. Huh? Rumble mints. <laughs> <sighs> That's more like it. If it's good enough for Kurt Corwin, it's good enough for me. What is this, a 12-year? <laughs> <laughs> Fortified wine is delicious. And now that I think of it, there's something else that's good enough for me, too. Um, Lucy, have you seen Dinky? There! Where's he going? See, I already like his personality better. <laughs> if I know Dinky... Get straight into trouble. You two stay here. Cool, cool wipe. This is more like it. A real hero's clothes. And a real hero's car. Yeah. Oh. I just knew it. He's got no business being in that car. Sneaky. I like it. I like the drawing there. <laughs> <laughs> this is you guys on tour. <laughs> <laughs> Kurt Corwin, move over. Dinky Littles at the wheel. It's, it's, fa it's fairly accurate. They get pulled over by a tiny robot cop. this <laughs> car. <laughs> yep, that's how the physics would work. Okay, that seems like to be a good place for a... Ooh, uh, what happens? A uh, commercial break. Now, uh, Nick, you've curated some commercials? I have. It's it's We're heavy on the alcohol, uh, so I curated commercials for little things. These are all uh, products that are little versions of, of other products. Make sense? Yeah. Wait, Got it. we're heavy on the alcohol, <laughs> so you're not going to show alcohol. <laughs> right. So, I, felt okay. like it was, I felt like it was too, too much into the alcohol. Here's a little break by just going with the okay. little theme. Saturday morning cartoons will be right back. What do you know? The Lifesavers family just got a little smaller. New Lifesavers homes. I remember those. Tiny little bites of candy in all your favorite Lifesavers flavors. Cold. Incredibly, unforgettably delicious. More fun than you can ever imagine. New Holes candy from Lifesavers. Get what you've been missing. See, but that would that would feed a little. Hi, I'm like, Polly it Pockets. Yeah, it would. Get open up the case. There's a world for you. Where? Randy Pockets plays with your life. Polly Pockets, Polly Pockets, Polly Pockets. Polly Pockets is the smallest. Take her anywhere. Polly Pockets play cases each sold separately. From Did you have these, Caitlin? I had like all of this. Yeah, <laughs> I, lo I loved Polly Pocket when I was a kid. Next up, up is. The boy What's up with small things. I think that people like I, small things. I have an opinion on that, which Let's is, hear it. you know, when you're a kid, when you're really a little kid, like everything is too big for you. Like chairs are too big for you. You know, everything is large size, adult size. So you want to, you know, it's about asserting dominance, I think. That's you know, totally you it. Be the bigger thing. Yes, you want <laughs> dominion over smaller things, no matter who you are. Right? Totally. That's how you can control and manipulate your own tiny world. And yes. Probably. And that's Definitely. why you got Rambo, and that's why Nick got, um, Got Marty. There you go. That's why Danny DeVito still plays with Polly Pockets. Mm -hmm. 
Dell. Mighty Shut Max, up. Mighty it's Max! Mighty Max! Welcome to Skull Dungeon. This is the wow. boy version of Polly Pockets. Mighty Max! Because everything's it gendered. Brain Every toy is gendered for some reason. We want brain. No way, slime face. Whoa! Watch out for that first step. Uh, it's not over, Mighty Max. Will Max get fried? His fate <laughs> is in your hands. <laughs> Mighty Max, Mighty Max. You can collect all his adventure sets, each sold separately. Mighty Max figure included from Mattel. I want a dog. I want kitties. I want a whole pet shop. Who has the room? The littlest pet shop. That's who. Every Littlest Pet Shop pet comes with a home of its own. Who has measles? Little Littlest Pet Parade. Yeah, Littlest Pet Parade. Who do tricks for you? Oh. Itty bitty kitties doing kitty things and playful puppies to play with too. The Littlest Pet Shop. That's who. Oh, that's Not the Littlest Pet Shop. <laughs> littlest Pet Shop. Each pet comes with something that's special cool, and a home of its you. own. Each sold separately. Yeah. I'm the Micro Machine Man, and I'm waiting to be launched out of the time. But first, let me tell you about another launcher, the Micro Machine's Power Launcher. With super storage for two unbelievably ultra-fast Micro Machines, simply slap it to your wrist, roll up the roadway, ramp, pull back the power loader, then let her rip. The totally terrific Micro Machine's Power Launcher. The only way to launch a totally terrific ultra-fast Micro Machines from Galoob. And remember, if it doesn't say Micro Machines, it's not the real thing. Oh! It's time to make things shrink. Just say the magic word. Shrinking it! Shrinking it! I love to make them shrink. Color them in. Cut them out. Then get mom to pop them in the oven. They shrink in just three minutes. Shrinking it! I love to make them shrink. Shrinking it! Shrinking it! Shrinking it! Yeah, I I had got a stealth elf shrinky dink in there, <laughs> and that's little wow. things. You know what we should for little things. We should do a commercial block. All of the just the guy, the micro machine commercial guy, just like all his commercials together, like in one, because yeah. uh, that guy's. There hasn't been somebody who's matched him since he. I think he's. I think he's not with us anymore. I think he passed away a few years ago. John Mashita. I think he's still around. Oh boy, are we going to get in this <laughs> argument again? I th yeah, he's still around. Oh, he's still boy. alive. He's sixty six years old. Okay. And uh, yeah, uh, he has a board game out, and I had a cassette tape that was. Uh, I think it was ten classics in ten minutes, and he would do like a Shakespeare novel in a minute, uh, talking fast. I loved that guy growing up. Yeah, but, yeah, but he, he nobody else does it. You're right. Yeah, he did a bunch of commercials and he he must have retired and or maybe he just slowed down. Maybe he doesn't have the speed anymore. <laughs> I bet we can get him on the show. Let's do that in maybe yeah. the next couple episodes. Let's do well, it. I just want to tell you that I got a text from uh, Danny DeVito's agent and he's not appearing next week after yeah. that, that dig by Nick. Nick so. shot at DeVito. Yeah. That like, was a shot. Out of nowhere. Pockets for great toys. I don't know. You mean about, about his stature? Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I really went below the belt on that one. Zing. Oh. Had to go pretty low to get below the belt. Oh, Danny DeVito. oh man, you're going to get You it. might say he's not tall. Right. <laughs> Good one. I'll get it. Now back to Saturday morning cartoons. So wh where we left it, uh, Henry is dispirited. Uh, his idol is very spirited. <laughs> Dinky and Grandpa are careening to their doom and uh we're all confused let's watch i can't wait don't you would have been drinking with this one I you're not look. not paper the wall was made of paper Hooray, we can drink money. drive all we want in this set <laughs> Look at he's going on adventures. He's trying new things. He's having fun. Like, where's the problem here with booze? <laughs> Tell me, please. I'm dying to know. Pinky, no. Pinky, no. <laughs> look out. You better. <laughs> look at a wet, a wet blanket. Well, and also he's like nailing these turns. Like he's doing great. Yeah. Stop this car. Wow! We're airborne! Not to worry, Grandpa. He's narrating everything. He's me on the tour. <laughs> Can we just go to the hotel and watch infomercials? No, I want to talk to these strangers! A perfect four-point landing! What's gotten into you, Dinky? I still have three drink tickets left! <laughs> but I'm tired! <laughs> Go so sit in that chair Stop. and look at your phone. <laughs> okay. That's not tough enough for Kurt Corwin. Kurt Corwin, what a great You're ruining my image. I'm with Corwin this whole way. It sure isn't like the movies. Why is Kurt Corwin acting that way? 
Because he drinks too much, Lucy. <laughs> Howie, fire that clown now. Uh, but Who, me? Who's the star here? <laughs> uh, uh, look, l let's take a lunch break, okay? Lunch, everybody! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Do you see that there's three of him on sc there, there, There's the, the actor, his stunt double, and then he's still sitting in the chair. Yeah, wait a minute. Uh, uh, <laughs> I didn't notice that the first one. This is a Black Mirror episode. It really <laughs> is. Who's the third Kurt Carwin? That's his, uh, his, uh, his sober side. And then we have uh, the dinky version himself. of him, too. And then yes. the model who's now dressed as dinky. There's actually five Kurt Carwins. Well, the guy he fought is still laying down. <laughs> he hasn't gotten up yet. Taking a breather. Yeah. Or maybe he died. I'll show him who's boss. Hey! Look a little liquid hey! current. You're so drunk, you're completely out of control. You have no idea what you're doing. Stupid kid. A lot you know. Every line seems like Zap Brannigan from Futurama to me. Are you guys all right? Yeah, Henry. Just shaking up. Tom, what's the matter with him? Is it a sponge People who drink bench? too much hurt themselves and everybody else. They can't help it, Lucy. They're but incontinent. He's supposed to be a hero. <laughs> Come on, Lucy. Let's go <laughs> to lunch. Soaks the urine right up, huh? I feel like eating yep. right now. You go, Henry. I'll stay here with Lucy. Okay. See you later. There's so many good samples in this episode. Yeah. I like to hear Handsome Boy Modeling School do some samples of this. Oh, yeah. He's driving great. Stop this car, Dinky. I if didn't anything, think he's driving better. Enough to do this. <laughs> Not Dinky, Grandpa. You're looking at Kurt Little, super stunt car driver. Phew. So that's it. You're drunk. <laughs> A lot, you Great know. Simple. I only had one drink. You can't even see straight, Dinky. <laughs> Littles are total lightweights. Are you kidding? Why I think they're going about this, this the wrong way. With my eyes I think you should be throwing up. Mm -hmm. I think you should be putting in the like you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> Espousing libertarian beliefs. <laughs> Whoa. I don't want to hear it. No, Dinky. See, that looks like fun. I don't know. Yeah, no, he should be telling no, boring, boring stories, talking about himself constantly, like <laughs> crying over an axe. No, lunch break. No one here to stop me. And that's why we don't have a third party in the United States. I'll do the big stunt myself. <laughs> It'll right never now. happen. We better stay hidden until Henry gets back. Uh oh. Duck, he's coming this way. <gasps> Now for some fireworks! I'm so drunk I want to crush tiny people. <laughs> what was that? Joe, you want to break things occasionally when you're drunk. I do. I sometimes I do on reach fire. A, yes, I do Hold reach on, a certain Lucy. level where I like to break things. Motorcycle oh, stunt level. But like in a fun way, not like in a, like a, a bad way. Like a Looks like way. we're going along for the ride. For you or for everyone else? <laughs> for everybody else. Everybody else, they're always cheering me on. <laughs> Super bike! <laughs> that voice actor's having the time of his life with this one. Super bike! Pull over, Dinky! <laughs> this is constant. Half the folks killed in car crashes are cause of drunk drivers. And I don't want us to be two more. <laughs> is that hey, statistic that? accurate? An elephant! <laughs> right. Hmm? Jumpin' polywogs! Put on the brakes! Nah, I can make this easy! <laughs> what if they actually died? <laughs> Missed them by a mile! You missed getting a squashed, and it was only by inches! Now stop what's left of this car, Dinky, right now! This 22-minute episode could have been 10 minutes long, Got I'm going to say. He's it. just no. constantly telling him to stop. It's a chase sequence. It just, it's blasted the whole episode. Yeah, it was so long so they started another one. Yeah. You better get injured in this. In this they were uh, using actual crash. lava, apparently. Yeah. 
<laughs> Kirk Cor Corwin only allows the drill lava. This is kind of like Pee Wee's Big Adventure. It's a, a bike racing in the back lot. This is one of the weirdest episodes we've watched. Yeah. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> Some of the okay? longest shots, yeah, too. Lucy. It's like a John Dad Landis movie. <laughs> no, Lucy, he's passed out. Drunk. John Landis canceled. <laughs> oh no. Push, Lucy. Uh, it's no use. The door is too heavy. <laughs> what are you doing? Corwin's the only one of us who can get that door open, Lucy. But if he wakes up, he'll see us. I think I'm going to be so quoting chance. Wake Up, You Big Drunk quite a bit whenever we're able to resume touring. <laughs> see, all they have Come to do on, is stick in like up. a frozen pizza and he's going to wake up. Uh, and <laughs> yeah. Wake up! The room's on fire! There's a frozen pizza! Shoot. It's ready to go! Little <laughs> I just opened a bag uh. of onions! <laughs> oh, nuts! He's out cold! Taco Bell drive through is open until 2 a.m. Think he's too drunk to listen to reason? And if I try to grab the wheel, we'll crash for sure. Aha. Uh -huh. Who's he talking to? <laughs> Us. Oh. I can pull out those wires. The engine will stop running. Yeah. Oh. It's just like, what's powering this vehicle, too? And also, more <laughs> Alcohol. Hey, where'd he go? It's an alcohol-powered car. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody better die in this, otherwise I'm not going to learn it. Did they go into commercial thinking he hits his grandpa? No! Grandpa! What? I, I didn't... I, I never meant to... What? Is this like blood on the highway or whatever grandpa! the air film was? Are you alright? I... I think so. We're lucky you only His broke my walking so stick. Grandpa, you're all right. No thanks to you. Stop that. <laughs> I could be dead now, Dinky, just cause you decided to drink and drive. But I only drank a little, Grandpa. It was still too much for you to uh -huh. be in control of yourself. It wasn't cool, Dinky. It was criminal and dangerous. Hmm. The cap off a fall any second. Just a fun Saturday morning for kids. Cool. Yep. <laughs> Watching a movie star burn to death. And a grandpa almost get killed. Yeah, I'm not con that, that story did not convince me not to drink. He had his reflexes, he was having fun, he was going on an adventure. Now tie the other end of the cables to the back of the forklift! Look at those hands. This is kind of MacGyvery. They would occasionally do things like that, use their tiny little surroundings to solve problems. See, they use forklifts in most episodes. <laughs> you can't, you're not union. Weirdest episode we've ever. <laughs> Four clip is driving out a movie star who drank too much in the lava from the movie. Oh boy. Tom, Lucy. Grandpa, it's their own fault for using real lava. It's not this his fault. It's not too big for us yeah. to handle. It's not his fault. His walking stick got back to normal magic. Where is everyone else who worked on this like TV show or movie? <laughs> that they, yeah, you know? they must have taken five. I don't know this where they true. are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lunch break didn't wasn't that? <laughs> oh the... yeah, that's what it was. Oh, yeah. this is all happening over a lunch break. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Well, Hollywood. No. Yeah. <laughs> Corwin 
Batman may have turned out to be a dud, Lucy, but I know a real hero. The studio is ruined! What happened? The fire was all my fault, Howie. I was drunk and tried something I should have known I couldn't do. I'll see to it that this studio is fixed up like new. I thought drinking made me a tough guy. Some tough guy. Yelling at people, driving crazy, starting fires. I couldn't stop myself. All because I was drunk. Hear that, Dinky? All because like I was your two of a tour. <laughs> I'm gonna say that those exact words to you someday. Man. I was so drunk, I even thought tiny little people were trying to save me. You were right, kid. I wasn't a hero, just a drunk. Sounded pretty brave just now, Mr. Corwin. Thanks, son. Come on, Nicky. We gotta get this car to the prop room and see what we can do to fix it. And then we'll find a doctor for you, Grandpa. Start her up. Grandpa, you're not gonna let Dinky drive again. Not on your life! From now on, this car runs on Dinky power! <laughs> Mike Dink is right? calling the car! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't really funny. I forgot about this. Hi, kids! What you reading? Something happened! The Magna Carta! It's a contract between kids and their parents! Let me see that. Kids agree to call their parents to come get them instead of driving in a car with someone who's been drinking. And parents agree to pick them up with no questions asked. And also not to drive when they've been drinking. What a great idea. I wish I'd known about what it. What about if they're buzzed? I wish you had two <laughs> Buzzed is fine. Where do kids get a contract like that? All they have to do is write one. Once and sign it in blood. Everybody. It's a contract for life. <laughs> <laughs> it's free, and it might just save your life. Lesson at the end. Oh, I remember this with the stars. I feel like the theme song doesn't match what happens in the episode. Yeah, I would say the first two seasons, which I've been watching, mm -hmm. uh, have been are pretty good. Yeah? Um, season three is a little weird. Well, this is the most entertaining thing I've seen on Saturday morning cartoons so far. Yeah. I was and very entertained by this. Really intense. Like, non-stop action from the get-go. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Thank you. And, and you know what? My drinking days are done, having seen that. <laughs> That's it. I'm all done. Mine are just beginning. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thumbs up. Right I thought off. you were a hero, but you were a drunk. <laughs> well, quoting, quoting Kurt Corwin over there. Now, earlier in the episode, I mentioned that Jimmy E. Keegan played Henry Big. He went on to become a successful session and touring drummer. And last night, I emailed him, and he sent in this video. What? what? Greetings, Shadow Day Morning Cartoons. Whoa. Oh, my God. Nice to see you. I'm Jimmy <laughs> Keegan. I played Henry Big for three seasons on The Littles. It was the first voiceover job I was ever cast for. It was the first voiceover job I ever went out for. Wally Burr, who was the casting director at the time and also ultimately was one of the one of the directors on the show, he cast me on the spot not only for The Littles, but he had me do things for G.I. Joe, uh, Transformers. I was one of the kids that did the PSAs that followed G.I. Joe and Transformers. Because knowing is half the battle. Yes. Um, so yeah, I got cast into the show. A uh, lot of great people on that show. Hal Smith, he was one of the voices of Winnie the Pooh. Alvy Moore, he was uh, a staple on, you know, 50s and 60s television. Uh, fantastic. Bettina Bush has gone on to do so many cartoons and whatnot. Um, uh, Donovan Freeberg has gone on to sell uh, lots of encyclopedias. Oh, yeah. I, so yeah, I guess we're talking Stanford. about the, uh, a little drunk episode. A little drunk, drunk, drunk episode where Henry finds out that his hero, his television movie hero, is not all that he seems. It, Henry gets a bit let down at the world of Hollywood. Um, and Dinky gets hammered. So there's an episode for you. I mean, what more <laughs> do you want? Yeah, I love doing, I love doing the littles. Uh, and uh, Deke Enterprises, the same company we did, I mean, even more than that, we did Inspector Gadget and Heathcliff and all those other things. So, you know, fantastic experience for a kid. Met a lot of legends. Worked with some great people. The directors and producers were all fantastic. 
and uh, you know it's the littles. It's a it's a it's a cartoon standard now. Um, it's not playing anywhere, but uh, yeah, I'm glad to hear someone's talking about it, <laughs> even if they're talking about it. Well, they're talking about it, and that's good. That's good that we should be talking about these <laughs> these fantastic old cartoons and uh, celebrating the works of of all these fantastic people, writers such as um. Uh, I don't remember who the writers are. I have no <laughs> idea. I was 13. Come on. Uh, thanks so much for having me on board. Um, I was very, very pleased to see you guys talking about the littles. And uh, happy Saturday morning. Um, my breakfast of choice, uh, just just to go along with the theme, um, I'm generally a honeycomb kind of guy. Mm, interesting. And if you're, if you're looking for me, you can find me because I'll be hanging out at the honeycomb hideout. Nice. Uh, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> I will see y'all real soon. Thanks. What a guy! Wow, what yeah, a cool he, guy. He, oh, he, he's so he, sweet. He he watched. Um, I, I wrote him, and uh, he said, "Sure, I'll send something." And they said, "Hey, I just watched an episode. Um, I'll send something, and and I'd, I'd like to be on sometime." Uh, so I'd love to have him. Yeah, we could yeah. have him on another D cartoon if he was part of that stable. Oh, yeah. imagine totally. doing voices as a thirteen-year-old. Yeah. Oh man, Great. that's a dream job. I wonder how you got that job. How do you get a job when you're? Because I remember in in when I was in elementary school, there was a kid in my school who did. He read commercials for the local radio station, and I thought he was the coolest kid in the world. I was like, oh, you're in showbiz. I mean, this is like Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin. So. But <laughs> right. he's reading and going over the airways. I'm just like, oh, this kid is like, yeah. Well, cool he dude. he had been a like a child actor, mm -hmm. and uh, so that was like apparent. Yeah, his agent just suggested it and it worked That's out great great oh. well let's have him on that'd be great yeah. yeah he's funny i like him um hey i just want to say one quick thing so uh eric plum you remember eric plum maybe like i don't know maybe two or three months ago when i was uh soliciting uh cpap picks you know I, I wear a cpap at night and um it goes over your nose and it blows air into your mouth so that you don't snore and uh i was i was asking people to send in their cpap picks and eric sent one in that there's uh he wrote uh ma and her eyebrow and me and my pap settling <laughs> down for a long winter's nap and uh so uh anyway he he sent some nick do you have the photo the, the, yeah uh, he the... sent some uh some artwork some fan artwork here and it, it's just remarkable here is the Saturday morning cartoons crew um the attention to detail i mean if you zoom in here you could see there's a caitlin have you seen this I have. I love the butt cracks. Sudden know, birth, yeah. butt cracks. Accurate too. Alf, we got the rejuvenique. Uh, I Top think loader. people have said that it shouldn't have been twelve. It should have been like eight a.m. But I think it was just a VCR was blinking yeah. twelve. A hundred percent. That's a hundred percent what it Bunion is. Onion surgery. We yeah. got. Uh, oh, I didn't mean for that to come up. <laughs> <laughs> Weird. This is uh, Mr. Sprinkles and uh, who else? We got Steve. Steve. There's George and uh, there's some ferret lax. Uh, and then here's Caitlin as a garbage pail kid as well. He sent uh, this too. Like, look at that. Incredible. This That's just, so I mean, this really touched me. It was a, such a kind thing for him to do. I absolutely love it. I mean, as much as I appreciated um, the one that Joe found of that with someone I, that looks like me getting stabbed by yeah. Davis. <laughs> Impaling Caitlin or something like yeah, that. I can't remember what little, the... Yeah. Um, pretty aggressive and this one i think is just a little bit more my right, i should say caitlin yeah. has has more people have probably famous cartoonists have drawn her than almost anybody else you have artwork i don't know like dan Klaus and i mean like so many people have drawn you because you host them at the cartoon library and has bill yeah. watterson drawn you no oh my gosh that would be so cool yeah what? but no i i'm very lucky though yeah i haven't, you, you've I haven't got... know a lot of cartoonists and yes. i happen to have ha have owned strange looking dogs that get drawn a lot too. So mm -hmm. we have many pet portraits as well. <laughs> You've got to put together like a slideshow. Do you have like a slideshow of all the, of all the drawings of you? No, I of, feel like I might, I don't know. It feels like so vague. That, that well, would be I weird just, to like, yeah. yeah, I have it right here. It's ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you asked Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Watch you do a 15 minute thing. That could be a fun thing though. I would like to well, see all of those. Well, uh, Eric did send these though. Like he, he sent oh. like three of them. So, and he signed them. And so Caitlin, I'll, did you get one? 
you already get you already um, received I one in the mail, did they're you? On, they're uh, in the mail to me now. So oh, okay, all Eric right. Said. And just thank you, Eric. These they're so awesome. And also, you're wearing a Ziggy shirt in there too. He just every oh. little detail. And uh, yeah, really well done. And yeah. Caitlin, right, so- Caitlin is not an easy na- name to rhyme with, and I mm-hmm. feel like erasing just it works well. So. It does. It does. Yep. Yeah, it's very yeah. clever. And now, George, you curated this episode, so I thought I'd take my stab at at coming up with a lesson here. Okay. And to do that, I need a background. TV is littered with hilarious drunks, from animated action stars to W. C. Fields to Otis the Town Drunk to Foster Brooks to David Hasselhoff eating a hamburger off the floor. (laughs) But at a certain point, it stops being funny. Sure, it starts innocently enough, a drink to loosen you up for performance, but next thing you know, you're battling beer burps while trying to explain IMGs or (laughs) slurring your words during a virtual college show last night. The key is moderation. So as you drive down the road of showbiz life, don't do it while drinking too much. And if you do, Take the back roads so you don't get pulled over. And that's why George always says, the more you battle <laughs> is twice the knowing. Wow. Wise words. Oh, Very wise words. Yes. Out of body experience. For all the kids watching, like, yes, everything Nick said. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Cheers. Well, that yeah, was cheers. A fun Bottoms one. up. <laughs> so thanks, Welkers. And uh, thanks, George, for finding that little uh, episode about alcoholism. Yeah, Joe, this was our intervention. This was as close as we could get. Oh, it didn't work at all. Yeah. It worked the opposite way. I'm going to grab a drink now, actually. Go try to drive your car down an alleyway like this. <laughs> <laughs> well, happy Saturday, everybody. Happy Saturday, happy Welkers. Saturday. Hey. That's more like it.